Okay, let's see here. We are going to do this number 60. We have the area of a rug is 108 square feet, and the length of this diagonal is 15 feet. Find the length and the width of the rug. Okay, so I'm going to start with the picture they've given us, and pictures are always nice. Nice them to draw, but I, I can draw a rectangle that is in my scope of abilities. Some of the other ones, I wouldn't mind a picture. So. Okay, so I have my width and my width, which I'm going to call X and Y, okay? And then I have this 15-foot diagonal, and they're saying area is 108. Well, area is length times width, so length times width has to be 108. Now, to find this diagonal here, this is, if it's a, you know, well-made rug, it's got a right angle over here. So this is going to be Pythagorean's theorem, X squared plus y squared equals 15 squared, which is 225. So this is my system I want to solve. So I'm going to start by solving that first one, which is much cleaner, for one of the variables. So x equals 108y. Then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to plug it in up here. So I have 108 divided by y squared plus y squared equals 225. Now I'm in one variable. Cool. So now I want to solve for y. So I'm going to start 108 squared. Thank you, calculator. 11,664 for y squared. y squared equals 225. This is a rational. I multiply by the LCD, so in this case, y squared. At least it was a nice clean one, right? 11664 plus y squared plus 225y squared. You should at this point see a quadratic. These are times 2. That means I'm going to treat this as a factoring problem. So I'm going to move this over here and send it over to y. Okay. So now I go to factor. And I need two numbers that add up to 225 that multiply to this. Now obviously 108 plus 108, but that does not, 108 plus 108 is 216, so I'm not there. But I want somewhere in the middle, so get your calculator out, and you're just going to try options. You want to start somewhere in that middle. What goes into it? So when I look at that, I can clearly see a 4. Um, there's actually 2, so this is 16 times 729. That doesn't work. But you should realize 729 is 3 to the 6th. Um, you don't have to know that, but you should see the 3's in here. Because these, if you add up the digits, it's 18, which means it's divisible by both 9 and um, 3. So you can start looking for options there. And really, this is just play on your calculator until you get something to work. What actually works is 144 and 81. And what I did at this point is I went, okay, I know I have this. I know this is all 3's. I started giving 3 to the 16 until something worked. That's really what I did. There was no, you know, fancy work there. Okay. So I'm going to then factor this. This is y squared minus 144. y squared minus 81 equals 0. Okay. Then I'm going to solve each one of these. y squared equals 144 equals 0. y squared minus 81 equals 0. So y equals plus or minus 12 y equals plus or minus 9. But can we have a negative side of a rug? No. So y equals either 12 or 9, which then when you put this back in, x equals 108 divided by 12 is 9. 108 divided by 9 is 12. So this is a 12 by 9 rug or a 9 by 12, whichever one you want to call it. Same thing. Usually the length is longer than width, so if I was going to write this out, I would say length is 12, width is 9, and they were in feet. And that's just the common way we write stuff. Length is the long side, width is the short side. Um, obviously, these are the same rug, depends on which way you turn in your living room, right? So hopefully this goes through the steps for setting these up. We write the equations just like we write anything else. It's a little bit of trial and error as you go through Solving it, though, definitely more steps to solving the regular two variable, but those same things all apply. We just have to kind of work a little bit harder as we go through the process.